Hi everyone, my name is Stefan, and today I'm going to show you how you can practice earthing outdoors from basic to advanced. Now a couple things before we go to the advanced form of earthing, which is an earthing tent, which is amazing for potentiating dreams and ridding your body of inflammation, is A, what is earthing? Earthing is also known as grounding. This is grounding yourself to the planet Earth. And the reason why you may want to do this is because our planet is a massive electromagnetic potential, just as the sun is a massive electromagnetic potential. You yourself have an electromagnetic potential. This is light energy. And if you become overly charged or out of phase with the natural systems in your environment, then that can lead to health and wellness problems. So earthing improves things like your inflammation. It lowers your inflammation. It improves the tone of your autonomic nervous system. So this improves your heart rhythms, your brain waves. This improves your peristaltic rhythms in your digestive system, it improves your digestive system, it improves the secretion of different hormones like cortisol and various sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone. This improves your mood and emotions as a result, neurotransmitter optimizations. The list is nearly endless when it comes to earthing. It improves your sleep, your metabolism, your immunity. Earthing is a fantastic health and wellness practice that you can do that's absolutely free. And a lot of people get confused about earthing because they think they need to do it with some special device or something. So while there are more advanced methods of earthing, the simplest method of earthing is going outside and walking around barefoot, or you can lay out a blanket like this at the park, at the lawn, and simply just lay down and take a little snoozer. And that's a great way to practice earthing. Now I talked about how you don't need to be earthing inside. The reason why you may want to avoid actually practicing earthing the conventional way inside a building is because a lot of those products, like an earthing blanket or an earthing mat, they tell you to connect it to the ground port of a building. And the ground port of a building is connected to the entire ground system for that building, whether this is a house or an apartment or something larger. And the ground system is what all the different electronics in that building connect to. If they have some sort of electronic overload, they can decharge to that ground, and then that ground wire goes to a ground rod placed outside the building, and it can safely dissipate into the earth. That's what we're doing when we're practicing earthing ourselves. The problem with connecting to the ground port in a building and then laying on a conductive blanket or a mat and practicing earthing that way is every single building has the power grid running through it. You have all the electrical wires that are pulsating at either 50 hertz, so 50 times a second. If you're in Europe, for example, if you're in the United States, it's 60 hertz, 60 times per second. And while the ground system may eventually terminate in the ground outside the building, it's within that larger electromagnetic potential of the power grid. So if you plug into the ground port of a building and then connect your grounding blanket and earthing mat and any of these products to that, then fundamentally you're receiving more electromagnetic radiation, more EMFs than you would have otherwise. And that's why some people report back okay, hey, I bought a grounding blanket and I, I slept terrible or I'm feeling awful, really drained. That's because they're receiving more EMFs rather than less. So that's why earthing outside is the best. It's absolutely free. You just have to take yourself outside and do it. And with the weather warming up in the Northern Hemisphere, more and more people are going to be practicing earthing. And if you have that interest in doing that, then yes, this is a simple way. Just lay out a blanket and do that. But some of you, like me, may be interested in the deeper and stronger earthing effects that are possible. So to do that, you need a earthing tent. And I'm gonna show you the design of this earthing system because while it's quite advanced in terms of its physics, it's actually quite simple to make. And all the uh, things that you need to make this earthing tent are in the video description. So if you wanna replicate this yourself, which I highly recommend you do, then you can do that. So. The reason I like this earthing tent here is because it allows me to connect better to the geophysical rhythms of the planet. It allows me to have a better circadian uh, rhythm because the sun rises, the sun sets. I'm more in tune with those natural night and dark cycles. And also it potentiates a lot of dreams. So my dreams are more vivid. 
Uh, I have better dream recall. Sometimes they are lucid. I've had precognition dreams. So there's a lot of interesting spiritual benefits to earthing as well. So I'm gonna flip the camera around now and show you this advanced earthing setup using this tent. So this is an earthing tent and it's quite simple and it's set up though I have some things that make it a little bit more complex. So to start, you wanna get a one or two person backpacking tent or if you want a larger tent, you can get a larger one too. This is from LL Bean. I really, really like it. And you also wanna pick up a copper sheet. This is much better than the grounding blankets that you can buy online because this is copper throughout instead of just silver threads and it's also much much cheaper so this is a better deal and makes it really easy to connect to different wires and metallic fixtures because you can simply just tie it around for example i have these steel hoops there you can just tie directly to that and then thread the wire and then connect that to your grounding rod so there's a grounding rod there that's copper driven in about two feet and then I actually have it connected to this copper wire running up to a copper coil so I have a vertical catch. Now, what I'm effectively doing here is I'm connecting myself to different electromagnetic potentials. There is a grounding stake out by the creek. I will show you that. And that is really old grounding rod connected to the root systems of those two trees. So that is a very large net of electromagnetic potential I'm connected to. That connects to this coil here, which gives me verticality in the electromagnetic potentials that I'm connecting to. So this is about 10 feet up, three meters or so. And that all then connects to this copper rod there, which goes down about two feet. So this is a way to get vertical and also horizontal connection to these larger telluric currents that run through the earth. Now in the back of the tent, I also have a stake at each setup here, and that is connected to the uh, back side of this copper sheet. I'll show you there. So each one of those is connected, again, with one of those steel um, circles. And then this wire here actually runs out to another grounding rod that is over here. So this is a very large grounding setup as you can see. And effectively what you're doing is connecting to the larger electromagnetic interference pattern that exists. All throughout space time is an electromagnetic interference pattern. All these different waves are connecting to each other constructively, deconstructively, different frequencies and amplitudes. And the larger the net is, you could say, the better the earthing effect because you'll expose yourself to a wider range of natural telluric currents and those can therefore more efficiently optimize your health and wellness and your DNA activations are improved, your epigenetic activations are improved. So this is, I would say, an advanced earthing setup, but as you can see, it is actually quite simple. You just require a copper sheet, you connect it to some wires, just do some basic, you can solder it, or you can just kind of, you know, put copper in contact with copper and get your grounding rod set up. This is a more advanced feature there to connect to the electromagnetic potential 10 feet up, which would have a voltage of about 200, 250 volts at that spot based on the laws of atmospheric physics. But this is an advanced earthing setup. This, of course, you can just lay out a blanket at any time when you go to the park. That's always really nice. And then the most simple is just to walk around barefoot. I hope you found this video on earthing useful. If you want a deep dive into earthing, I have a long form video on the health benefits, the bioelectric effects, and the geophysics of earthing. I suggest you give that a watch. I also have an article that you can read that goes in depth on earthing and more. So if you like the video, please click that like button, subscribe to see more content like this and more content on the overall energetics and geophysics of our planet. And I hope to see you all in those videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Ciao.